Welcome back to my channel, everyone. And today I'm going to be making my famous and delicious gratin potatoes. Right now I'm cutting up my potatoes very thin. You want to cut them up very thin so you're not waiting for them to cook all day long. I can't stand when I cook gratin potatoes. And then I have to wait and wait until they're nice and tender. Oh, it just gives me a headache. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to finish cutting these potatoes up so that I can get them layered in my pan. But that's all we're going to do right now is just cut the potatoes up just like this. Now I also have some water over here that my potatoes are in just so they stay nice and white and they don't get that brownish nasty little color. I can't stand that. So right now I put them in this sheet pan guys and I'm just blotting them to get all the excess water off because you do not want to be cooking soup. That's why you want to make sure that your potatoes are very dry. So that's what I'm doing right here. You just take a paper towel and you just uh, blot them down and make sure you get all of the water off of the page. You want them completely dry. So now hubby has came in the kitchen. OMG. And guys, if you don't know, today is my birthday. So hubby wanted to help me out. He is over here shredding this cheese. And I like to use the block cheese. Because I don't know. It's just something about block cheese that it just... I don't know. It holds true. It's just so much more creamier. And I just, I've always loved using the block cheese. It, it just gives your food uh, amazing different tastes, especially if you're cooking uh, mac and cheese. But today I'm cooking gratin potatoes because I was pretty much feeling them all day. Now we have cheddar cheese and I also use some Monterey Jack cheese. So he's cutting up both of these. And, um... <clears throat> He's shredding them nice. Just going to shred your cheese. Um, I think I'm going to shred about half of the blocks. Because I want to use this cheese for uh, another recipe. Maybe I do some cheese fries or something like that. Guys, let me tell you something. I have been eating potatoes all week. I don't know. Um, I've just been feeding potatoes all week. I don't know if anybody else has been uh, getting cravings. But I've been craving potatoes. Like, seriously. It's like all I want is a french fry or something that has something to do with potatoes. But... He's just going to finish up here shredding this uh, cheese so that we can have it ready to go when we start to assemble uh, the rock potatoes in our dish. No, no more. What are you doing? Okay, guys. So now we're going to make a nice little roux. Yes, we're going to make a nice little roux. And we're going to make a nice little cheese sauce. Yes, I love to make a cheese sauce. I don't know about anybody else, but I make the best cheese sauce there is to make. And I love it. So basically, you want to put uh, your milk in. And make sure, if you don't know what a roux is, it's basically butter and flour. And you want to cook the butter and flour first. You know, make sure that... Uh, you can cook it as long as you want, but at least cook it to like three, two minutes to three minutes so that you don't have that floury taste in your cheese. And then you're going to pour your milk in. You're kind of making like a, um, mm -mm. a bechamel sauce. I think that's how they pronounce it. I'm not for sure. Bechamel sauce. I'm not for sure, but you know, you want to keep just adding milk until you get it to a nice consistency. You keep adding the milk, adding the milk. Um, my husband actually put too much flour in. So I'm trying to get these lumps out of here, guys. But don't worry. It's still going to be nice and delicious when I finish. Don't worry about that. It's going to be amazing. So you just want to make sure that you have this on medium, medium heat, guys. Because you don't want to burn it. It does have 
flour in it. So you want to just keep stirring it and stirring it and adding the milk until you get the consistency that you want because it's all in how thick you want your uh, cheese sauce so just keep adding it and adding the milk until you get it to the consistency that you like and once you get it to the consistency that you like then you can uh, start to you know if you want to season it I really don't season it uh, right now I'm gonna put some more milk in because I'm trying to make sure that I get the right consistency for uh, this sauce. Because this sauce is major, guys. I'm telling you, this sauce is major. This is where uh, you either win, lose, or draw. Win, lose, or draw is like playing a spade game. And I know I'm winning all the time. But I have to make sure that this sauce doesn't have any lumps in it is lump free you always want to make sure you get as many lumps out as possible i might need to use another spoon for this so that i can get those clumps out but for right now i'm going to use uh this uh utensil for right now if i need the spoon i change um yeah, I think I'm going to need this spoon because I, I got to get these lumps out of here, guys. I got to get the lumps out. I got to get the lumps out of here, so I'm going to use this. And, and you just want to smash the lumps. You can smash them on the side of the pan and just continue to stir and continue to stir and stir until you get that nice consistency. Get all those lumps out, guys. Get all the lumps out, all the lumps out. All those lumps. This should be a lump. There should be no lumps in here is what I'm saying. It should be lump free. Because this is going to turn into a nice cheesy sauce. And you don't want lumps of flour in there. It's just going to taste. It's not going to taste really good guys. So that's definitely what I'm doing here right now. And I'm just going to continue to stir and get those lumps out. You want to take your spoon and just smash any lumps that you see. Just smash any lumps that you see, guys, in there. And keep continuing to stir and make sure that you have it on medium heat because you do not want this to burn. You do not want this to burn, guys. Keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. I know this is a lot, guys. I know this is a lot. I know you guys are like, uh, I don't really want to do this reset. Can we do it another way? No, you have to do this this way, guys. So I'm going to put the cheese in now, guys. This is my favorite part of this recipe is putting that cheese in. Uh, I tell you, this is the best part. So you're going to put your cheese in and you're just going to stare. You're going to stir it real good. Stir it real good. You're just going to stir it and make sure that all the cheese dissolves in that sauce. Just keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring, and keep adding cheese. Keep adding cheese and stirring. Look at that sauce, guys. It's becoming nice and thick. Add cheese. Add some more cheesy goodness. Yes, guys. Oh, that is looking so amazing. It's looking so good, guys. It's looking so delicious. Yes. Guys, you have to try this recipe. I promise your whole family will love it. They will be telling you to cook it all the time. Put more cheese in there. Make sure that you leave some cheese out so that you can put it on top, guys. So now you want to pour that mixture on top guys you want to pour all of that goodness and all of that mixture on top of your potatoes that you line in the pan now i had already did that previously so i'm just gonna put that in oh god guys yes yes guys this is amazing it's amazing. Oh, it looks so delicious. Guys, please try this. Like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. Love you guys.